The Ford dealers of America, who sell and service Ford cars and Ford trucks, present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players, with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Hello? Hello, yes, this is Kukla. I can hardly hear. New York? Hello? Hello, who is it? Hi, Lena, how are you? Jack, it's Lena Horn. Wonderful. How are you? You what? You who? You just got it on the boat from Europe? <sighs> well, how is it? Huh? I can't hear you. You? You can't hear me. I can't hear you. Shout. Yeah, that's better. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, did you have a nice time in Europe? Yeah. Oh, just a minute. No, Dolores. No, no, it's not for you. It's, it's uh, Dolores. <clears throat> this is Ollie's little cousin. Dolores. She... Yeah, can you see her? She has oh, she's right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Dolores, no, no, please. No, go down and tell Ollie that Lena Horn's on the telephone. Tell... Tell... This is costing Lena money. Hurry up. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, well, just a... Please. I can't get through to Dolores. No, no, not you, Dolores. Well, I can't get through to you either. I can hardly hear you. Dolores. Boo. Yeah, well, we'll do it. You bet I will, Lena. You, well, I'll give my best to Ralph and Lenny. Yeah, well, we'll do You bet. Well, I hope you can watch tonight, because, oh, we're going to do a humdinger for you. You bet. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell her. All righty. Goodbye. Gosh, can you imagine that? Just got hit from here up and she... Ollie! I heard. I heard. Say, it's great. Why didn't you hang on long enough? Well, we couldn't. The... Uh, the... Um, the coin box went clinkety-clink and all the coins went. Oh, I see. Well, oh, this is great. We'll have to do a great show. What have we got on the list tonight? Oh, what do you mean? For songs? Yeah, we want to do a real, real, real crash-bang musical or something tonight. Something real... Franny? Yeah? Come on in. Hi. Hi, how are you? You look real happy. Yeah, well, Lena Horn just called. Yeah, she did. She called from New York. She did the first call she made from Europe after she'd gotten into Europe. Why, how nice of her to do that. And, and she wants a, she wants a, she wants to see the show tonight, and, and we want to have a big, why don't you find out what's on the musical schedule? I yeah. had the musical schedule. Oh, oh you mean Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. Oh, we're, we'll do some real, I bet we got some real fine ones selected and cleared for today. I didn't even see it. I was frankly so very busy. I didn't That's look either, but I thought, you know, we uh, Jack always clears such fine tunes oh, for us. Oh, yes. Well, I just wouldn't worry about it. Anything we do, I think she'll like. She's such a good audience. No tunes cleared? Which Some one? <laughs> Hello, cutie. Going what? away on our vacation. Here we are again. K-L-U. Kukulpolitan Christmas song. Kukulpolitan Christmas song? <laughs> Does anything strike you as rather strange about that list? Yes. They're yeah. all original tunes by Jack Fashionado. Jack! Yes, Ollie. Explain yourself. How did that happen? Well, it seemed like a very good idea. You don't suppose he's caught the, the musical craze? You know how many new musicals are opening this fall? I know musical comedies. I think the boy has ambition. Well, they're all good tunes, but how can you tie anything like that? Kukapal and Christmas song. How can you, can you tie that into a show? Jack, this is not Christmas yet. I don't understand it. Well, what could we do Let's, now that we're stuck with them? Well, I like Hello Cutie. It's a nice tune for me and everything, but it doesn't offer you much. No, it doesn't. Or you. Well, I'm no. always very flattered when you sing it, but I... Well, I know, but I mean... I mean, I'm just thinking there's not... I don't believe any one of those you mentioned has a particularly big part for me. No, me either. I'm He's written some nice things that I had at least a verse or so in, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, we're stuck. Lena, you might as well turn off your set. <laughs> Don't give up so easily. Wait! I've got a great idea. It came to me. It came to me in a, in a boing. It did? Yeah. Hey, look, why don't we have our own musical comedy right here? Oh, well, I... Well, sure, everybody else is having a musical comedy this year. Why don't we? Well, how do you mean? You've got, got to have music. we got the music. Well, but we have to have a story. Every, a song has to mean something. Or it's supposed to. Yeah. 
Let me see if I can find in my book backstage uh, 301 Things a Bright Boy Can Do. Well, that's not going to help us, right? That's just about construction. And... No, it has lots of wonderful things. Well, well, I don't understand. It gives a whole bunch list of, of, of stories in there. You close your eyes. Open up. Open up to that first right in there somewhere. I think it's, there's a list there. There's a whole list of stories there. Don't look at them. Huh? Stories which would be adaptable for musical comedy. Yeah, there it is. Now close your eyes. <clears throat> Or don't look, I don't care which. Now put your finger down on the list, and whichever one you pick, we will do a uh, musical comedy to. With Jackie Rackety, stop. At this one, I'll stop. Cinderella. We did that one time. Well, we decided this is the way we'll do it. We'll do Cinderella today. Well, it's all right with me. But how are you going to fit him? You know. Want me to try it again just to see if we we'll get another no, one? No, no. Cinderella's a good one. That's a good, fine plot. You know, boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl. That's good. That's a fine, good, standard plot. We could work the music all around. But how we... Every musical's got to have a sock opening and... Yes, it does. How are we going to cast it? Yes, how? I don't know. I'll think that one out. You kids better well, get Well, I'll go and... I, I think I know where some of the old costumes are. Okay, I'll, I'll go along. I want to help. I don't know how you're going to put the music in. I don't either, but let's just go along and see what happens. Okay. Let me see. Now, how can we do this cast? Well, let me see. <laughs> Ugly stepsisters. Nobody will want to play that part. First person. Yeah. We won't have any tryouts or anything. We haven't got time. The first girl who comes up on the stage will play Cinderella. That's the way we'll do it. First, first person, whether it's Fran or whoever. I hope it's Fran. Who can't see? <laughs> Why did you tell you that I got my do Francis? Yes. Hey, I got the do-all. I got it all fixed. Good. Doesn't grind up my dress anymore. That's fine. Real fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Get ready, my dear. You are going to play the greatest part of your entire career. Don't look at me like that. Let me see. <laughs> Hi ye to the dressing room. What's happening? You're playing Cinderella. No! No, not that! Anything but that! Come on! <laughs> well, now let me see. Uh, next girl that comes up will play the part of the fairy godmother. Nobody will want to play that anyway, probably, because she's supposed to be an older woman. Oh, well. I think that's the best way to do it. <laughs> Francis, dear. Yeah. Francis, dear. Oh! Get into your costume, dear. You're elected. <laughs> what? What? Really? What's going to happen? Never mind. You're going to play the fairy godmother in our musical comedy version of Cinderella. Grand, divine, simply divine. I'm going to play her as an ingenue. Now let me see. The next persons who come on the stage will play the ugly stepsisters and the stepmother. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I... You about ready to begin? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What's the ma change your mind? Well, I'll go back. No. Fran, the way I cast the play was whoever came on the stage first got these parts. Oh, I'm the princess. Well, I was the... Beulah the Witch of Cinderella, Madame Ocopus, Fairy Godmother. Amongst the three of us, we have to divide up those three choice roles of the oh, stepmother I'll play and the all two three. I'll, I'll play a stepsister. I wouldn't mind that at all. After all, Beulah and Madame Ocopus, they never get to play any of the other lovely parts. That's true. We're always playing the hero and the. That's uh, right. I'll be, a, I'll be an ugly stepsister. Or right, you be an ugly stepsister, and I'll be the stepmother. And you can be uh, an ugly stepsister, too. That's just grand. Who's going to play the prince? I wish I only knew. Well, well, get your costume yeah, on. Get the costume. <clears throat> Say, has anybody been, uh, anybody found, uh, Jack? Yes, my friend. Have you found the, uh, the mail, uh, uh, yet? I don't know where it's been moved to since the new floor has been put in. I was looking myself. Ollie put it in a high floor in my room and it covered up the mail chute. <laughs> I really don't know just where they, where... Well, hello, Kukla. Your Royal Highness. Well, now, come. Let's not be so formal. You are the prince. Kukla, do you feel all right? You bet. 
Get into your costume. You're playing the prince in Cinderella. Oh, my, no, no. Gracious sakes, no. I, I could. Well, now, maybe I could. Who's playing Cinderella? Should I tell him? Let it be a surprise. All right, I will. That'll be grand. <laughs> That'll be just grand. No doubt it's Francis. <laughs> Where's my costume? I can't find my costume anywhere. I haven't got my costume either. Brian, are you ready? Practically. Okay, we have to get ready for the stock opening now. Jackson, do you have music? All set here. Okay. Well, I've got my costume on. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no. Fred, you wouldn't do that. Oh, Fred, everybody's going to be so disappointed. I don't think so. I'm real happy. <laughs> Ollie, where are you? I'm coming. I can't find a costume or anything. You going to be just like that? No, I'm supposed to be the ugly stepmother, but I can't find any costume. What happened to Monsieur Joseph? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this will have to do. <laughs> How's this? How ugly can you get, my goodness, what a horrible That's the worst one I ever saw. I know it. Don't ever give that to me. I won't. Does yours scratch? You bet. Mine too. Well, here we go. Now, uh, this is the first scene. This is the opening. The three stepsisters, the two stepsisters and the stepmother are on the stage alone as the curtain opens. Hmm? <laughs> Well, hello, cuties. Hello, hello you lovely beauties. beauties. We look so very sweet today. We take each other's breath away. <sighs> well, hello, cuties. Hello, you lovely beauties. Now, confidentially, you know that positively, absolutely, we are as cute as can be. The Cinderella. We are as cute as can be. You have to go. I'm going down and look for pretty dresses. I don't want to go, do you? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go either. I suppose if the story goes that way, and I think we have to. Do we have to go? I think so. Do we leave now? Pretty soon. I see. Hello, sisters. <laughs> Hello, sisters. Don't, don't speak, speak to, to me. Us. Where are you going all dressed up? None Here of your business. The ball. Oh. None of your business. Now you've told her. You may as well go on with it. The ball? Couldn't I go to the ball? Could she go to the, the ball? ball? <laughs>
<laughs> no, you cannot go. Oh, no. I can not. I might as well make something of this. And go. Oh, dear. I wish something would happen to me so that I could be beautiful and lovely and go to the ball with my sisters. I don't really care a hoot about it. Those things are dreadful bars. <laughs> Went last year, I tell you. Nothing good about it at all. Stood by the punch bowl all evening. Nobody spoke to me. Oh, dear, if I could only go. If somebody would have... Mother! <laughs> I'm not your mother. Martha Washington. <laughs> <laughs> well, who could you be? I am your fairy godmother. Well, well, well. Ain't that a hoot? I didn't know I had a fairy godmother. Well, you have, my dear. You certainly have. You mustn't feel bad. Remember. Tell <laughs> you, it's important that you don't forget. Tell you, certain letters of the alphabet. Hey, keep L looking at you. Up. Keep looking up. Keep looking up. You can make those whole spirits smile. Keep looking up. How can you afford wasting time? By pressing and forgetting that the smartest thing to do is keep looking up. Keep looking up. Kill you. show today. Now try to cooperate. All right, I'll try. You bet. How can I, how can I go like that? Even if I do get my clothes changed and everything look lovely, glamorous, and exciting, how can I go? I can't walk down the street like that. Well, now, let me see. I could, um, I will get you a lovely carriage with, a uh, six snow white. No, you won't. You'll get me a 50 Ford or else. Well, I, I don't know whether I can conjure up a 50 Ford. You don't have to conjure up a 50 Ford at all. All you have to go down and do is go down and see your four dealers. Say, Bob, Cinderella's going out tonight. She wants to step out. She wants to ride the beautiful 50 Ford convertible because she loves the quietness of it and the beauty and the comfort because I do want to be com comfortable and the safety because I'm going all alone. Yes, indeed, I'm going all by myself. I want to be plenty safe and ease of handling. I don't know whether I want a V8 or... Or six. Six bar. I don't know. I just don't know. But I know I want a 54 because it looks like a big car. It feels like a big car. It is a big car in all but cost. Now, put up Beulah. <laughs> all right, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> KLU, KLU. Great! Great! That's sensational! I'll take my gown with me. I'll drive down and change as I'm driving. No, you won't. No, you won't, now, Beulah. Uh, if you're going to do that, you just simply cannot have the 54. I've got the 54. Try and take it away from me. <laughs> my little convertible, I'm going along. I may never get to the ball. Who knows? I may drive past the palace and say, Prince, come on out and take a ride with me. I may never get to the ball. Hey, isn't this lovely? Mm, so reliable. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Beulah. Either you're going to play along with the play, or else, or else... Or else what? Or else... 
Or else I'll... I'll steal the duo. All right! All right. Anything you say, anything you say. Well, here we go. Goodbye! Goodbye. Remember, be sure to get home by 12 o'clock. And be a good girl. You bet! Well, here we go! Mm. Oh. Next scene, the ball. <laughs> where my ugly stepsister is. Or my mother. I've been standing here so long, people are hanging coats on me. <laughs> Hello, sister. Have you had some lemonade from the punch bowl? No, bar? I haven't had any lemonade. Mm. Kind of hot. I didn't want to come to the ball in the first place. Have you met the prince? Who's seen him? I haven't seen him either. I'd like to meet him, though. I understand he's very nice. I, uh, <clears throat> I beg your, oh! I think that was Who the was prince. That? I think it was the prince, I'm not sure. I'll leave you. Goodbye. 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 Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Are you? Who are you pulling for in the pennant race? Well, uh, my dear girl, I'm not here uh, to uh, discuss baseball. I'm. What have you got against baseball? Well, I have not, nothing against baseball. There's your mother. Look, her hair fell off again. What? Well, I'd never get rid of her. But look, who is that vision of loveliness that is coming through the door? <clears throat> but look. Who is that vision of loveliness who is coming through the door? If I say it again, I'll scream. But look, who is that vision of... I can't help it. The is too long. Any place where a buddy can get a glass of lemonade around here? We have a punch bowl concession right down there. Well, I'm not going over there. Let them come to me. you have. Thank you. It is yours, isn't it? Well, nearly. Nice music you have. I said nice music. I heard you. I just don't agree with you. Hey, do you know what time it is? Well, I know, but it must be nearly 12. Well, I've got to get home. <laughs> Happy New Year! She's gone. She's gone. My vision of loveliness. But, oh, wait. There's her slipper. Her tiny slipper. Gracious sakes. Oh. Somehow I will be able to find her. <laughs> if I can trace down this little slipper, I will be able to find her. I will go throughout the kingdom in my 50 Ford, and somehow I will find the person who fits this dainty slipper. And when I have found... Oh, really, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is just simply ridiculous. Is it? And when I have found the person to fit this shoe, I will have found, I will have found somebody who lives backstage. <laughs> okay, kids. Scene three. Who's in it? You are. Oh. It's in the house. I left my hair at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> no, I found it. I found it. I got it. Oops. What's up? Oh, my hair is down. No. <laughs> well, where's, uh, where's your sister? I haven't seen her. I haven't either. Well, uh, I understand that um, that, uh, that the little girl who was at the ball last night la left her slipper when she ran away. Yes. And the prince is offering a reward to anybody uh, who uh, finds the girl and uh, whoever fits the little I slipper. have yet to see the shoe that I can't get into. Yeah, me too. But I Not play. you, oh, me I don't play first. This, huh? Well, keep your uh, ears open because the prince is going around from house to house to try out these well, slippers. Well, I'll be on the lookout for you. You bet. Yes. You all ready for the prince? Certainly I'm all ready. I think he's coming now. Now? I think he's coming now. Where? I think he's just outside the door now and he's going to knock. You go out in the backyard. Why? Just go in the backyard. No, I'm not. You go in I'm the backyard. I'm going to stay here. Oh, there he must be now. Well, hello there. 
tell me. Ah! I met you last night. Well, I have said that I will let everybody try the shoe on. Would you mind trying it on, please? Not at all. Doesn't fit, does it? I walked a little far yesterday. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew it wasn't yours. Well, very well. You try it on. If you untie the laces, I can get out. <laughs> you! You! Well, it appears that my uh, great quest has come to an end, and I hope this play very soon. Gracious sake. Oops. All right, I'll finish it. <clears throat> there! There's my slipper! Gracious sake! Now I'll be able to play tennis again. Thanks, most. <laughs> well, I have found my princess. You bet. Let's go. And I'm going to forgive everybody. All my sisters and my mother. And they can come to live with me at the castle. And how am I going to drag this last tune in? Oh! They can all spend Christmas with me, Francis. It will be a happy holiday with everybody singing. Fa la la, fa la la, fa la 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 la. We will open all the presents. Everybody will be singing. Fa la la, fa la la, fa la 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 la. Mer, mer, merrily, we'll dance around the tree. Will you be so kind and dance around with me uh, at the extra special Coupla Pollock Christmas celebration? Fa la la, fa la la. Everybody join in the fun, fun, fun. Each and every one. There'll be mistletoe and holly. Also Coop and Fran and Ollie. Each and every one. Come join in the fun. Uh, come join in the fun. Come join in the fun. Uh, come join in the fun. Come join in the fun. Hey! Well, would you say that was a sock ending? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. <laughs> Franny, uh, you got all the tunes in. Yeah, I think surely it did. Did pretty well. I think that might, uh, I think that might be real good for a long run in Broadway. Well, I think so. As a bunch of sock tunes, of course, it doesn't have any ballad. Oh, who needs a ballad? We just have sock tunes. Want to go through it again? We'll see what we can use. Yeah, I tell you, there's one that I, I have some set of lyrics that I like to set to music. They go something like this. <clears throat> Remember, the one fine car in the low-priced field is the 1950 Ford. Here's the picture of big car beauty, the 1950 Ford. But there's more than beauty here. There's power, roadability, luxury, and comfort you'd expect only from America's most costly cars. And yet, with all this fine car performance, this new Ford brings you economy, too. Economy of first cost, economy of operating cost, economy of upkeep. Yes, when you test drive the 1950 Ford, you'll agree it's the one fine car in the low-cost field. This is Bert Tolstrom thanking you on behalf of Prince Charming and all the cast. Good night. <laughs> Remember, the one fine car in the low price field is the 1950 Ford. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.